What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as the reworked Wukong on the PBE. And there are a lot of changes to this champion, but let's try and go over them real fast. Uh, first of all, they changed his passive instead of just the uh, additional, I think it was just additional armor and MR when there was multiple people, or multiple people around. They added that on top of Crushing Blows is now part of his passive, and for um, every time you hit someone, you will deal 4% more damage to them. Uh, per stack with a max of five stacks and your clones also apply this passive uh, your Q is still just an auto attack reset but it no longer shreds armor but instead it heals you it also has a passive that makes it every time you use an ability your next auto attack gains range so it's kind of like another thing to weave the W is the big change though and while it is still a uh, way for you to go invisible and still a way for you to stop juke people and whatnot the clone itself apparently actually goes out of its way to attack minions so or not attack minions but you know attack champions so i is this guy for real like what the what the heck was that was that worth for him i, I can't imagine that it was i mean maybe maybe i'm crazy i don't know but then the e is functionally the same skill um but wow, that heals not that much. Okay, maybe it feels like it heals more later when you have items. I'm actually going to back up here because he can get level 2 and flash on me. So I'll just let this go under my tower for now and let this potion tick me up. But um, yeah, like I said, his W will actually allow you to uh, have clones that fight. Which is pretty neat. It's pretty neat. And then apparently his E... All they changed about it was the fact that they made it so your clones are actually targetable units now. Um, and when those clones actually hit things, they will... Okay. They are able to be targeted. They're able to be hit. Uh, let's see. And bleep. <laughs> cool. I'll take a free kill on this guy if he wants to run ghosts. Like, what the heck? But yeah, your E can now... Uh, block projectiles, block skill shots, block all that stuff. Wait, what the heck? Oh, okay, so... That was... That's weird. I was curious if it would attack, like, immediately. And it looks like... It kind of tries to? <laughs> but they said they... Oh, this is such a bad wave for me. But they said they made it so you can still do the stop juke animation, right? Um... I'm curious. So that's 35 damage. The healing goes up by 10 per thing. Shit. All of Wukong's abilities actually seem like they'd be really good to level up first. Um, my ability. I, I don't know what to choose. So this would be for healing. This is for like kind of brawling. And this gives you more attack speed. But it does not lower the cooldown. The other two lower the cooldown. So I imagine you would level this last, because um, it's only 5% more attack speed per level, which is nice, but you already get 30, and it also uh, doesn't reduce the cooldown. So probably, I'm going to try W just for fun, because I imagine in a poke lane, you would want to max your Q first. Uh, in this lane, I'm going to try W, because two seconds off of it per level is pretty high, and any time Udyr cannot hit me in more time than I've got these clones duking it out, because whenever you use your W right now, it actually does, uh... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn! Dude, that clone lasts a while. Wait, what the heck? Son, you don't win this. You, you don't win this, son? What are you doing? <laughs> what the... What is this man doing? Alright, well, there goes both of his summoners. Dude, my clone actually stays for so long. That's awesome. Okay. Oof. All right, max the W. So this dude, this is actually going to be such a weird thing to max because it doesn't actually increase the damage of it. It just increases the duration. So we're counting on our auto attacks to do a lot of work right now. And actually for an ability that heals, 25 mana is super cheap. And that heal actually, like I said, scales with your AD. Because it's 20 and then plus 25% attack damage. So, 
Oh, and it deals bonus magic damage. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right. Never settle for second. Sweet. I mean, so far so good. If you guys ask me what I think about Wukong's changes, um, it seems like with his kit, they really wanted to emphasize that he's more of a duelist, more of a fighter than an assassin. And I mean, so far looking at the kit, they did a good job. Also, I do apologize, my it's been a long night because <laughs> uh, well, I've been up all night, been gaming, but uh, I haven't showered. Been nasty. I'm nasty. It doesn't feel too bad, but you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. I mean, this guy can sit here and back in my face all he wants. He's the one losing horribly. So we got the ultimate. The ultimate was not changed except the fact that you can actually cancel it by using your other abilities during it. So we can definitely do some good damage to him there. <laughs> Look at that. I see you've returned damage to me. I bet I could kill him. I don't know where Fiddlesticks is, though. I feel like I should know, but I don't know. So, copy. <laughs> Hey, he didn't even turtle in time. That's kind of funny. Oh, no. All right. Well. All right. Get Fiddle out of here. There he is. So he's probably going to try and fall out of this bush, right? Yeah, there it is. Show me the wonder. Is that man to dream me? He does, and that's it. Okay. Thanks for the fruit, bud! Wait. Is this going to kill me? It's not. Nice. <gasps> Why is he so fast? He doesn't even have boots! No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't throw anything at the wolves! Okay, he didn't. He didn't have a big enough brain to do it. There we go. And I'm out of there. <laughs> Fantastic, dude. 3-0. And let's get back up top. So Fiddles did ult there. Maybe. Why is this so expensive? I would really like to get the time at because it helps me a lot. Um, with basically giving me another auto attack when I use the active of it. And it also helps a lot with Wukong's push so you don't have to use your abilities like spam on the wave. But I'm not... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You got Maybe it's a bad idea. I don't know. Like, I mean, he's not building armor. It looks like he's trying to build the components of Trinity Force, but he got attack speed and then mana. So, I mean, you go, girl. <laughs> you go, girl. I've actually never, ever in my life seen a new deer top that didn't take ignite. Ever. I don't. I literally. Don't think I have ever seen this. But my ultimate's back up. I guess I was running for quite a while. Um, so we can utilize that here pretty soon. Fiddles shouldn't have his ultimate back up. He used his main attack, so I can definitely beat him up a lot here. There we go. I think I can just kill him, right? I mean, he doesn't have his flash up. There goes his stun. <laughs> yeah, if he's not going to respect me and the damage I can pump out to him like that, I'm definitely just going to blow it off on him. So if you guys don't know this about Udyr, uh, if Udyr stuns you with a bear stance, he cannot re-stun you for a couple seconds. So as soon as he stunned me outside of the turret range, that was my go button. Like That was the time that I knew I had to just annihilate him. And annihilate him, we did. So, should be able to get this third place. Wait, does my clone attack the tower? It does not. That's a bummer. That would make Wukong so absurd for uh, pushing towers, man. I feel like I might have just killed myself, though. Because Udyr can, like, wrap around. Okay, he's not doing it. Nice. Oh. There we go. Perfect. So, I know, obviously, I'm dead, right? But what I did there was really intentionally try and make sure that I die to only the fiddlesticks. 
because uh, as you can see, Udir actually busted his ghost and then didn't even get an assist for me dying there. <laughs> so, Fiddles ulted, killed me, whatever. My fault, I should have warded, and like I said, I probably killed myself. <laughs> but we made it so Udir did not get any money by not letting him touch us. It's like, yeah, I could have tried to flash, but... I don't... I don't think I would have gotten out. I could have, maybe, if I flash like immediately as soon as the as soon as the fear it. was done. Maybe I could have gotten out if I flashed instantly. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. Wait, this guy's actually just like AFK pushing the tower. <laughs> what the fuck? Do I just? this guy now does he does he think I don't know that he's just in this bush I mean it's not like you're sneaky it's not like you're sneaky <laughs> it's not like this guy's a sneaky devil so there goes his flash again sick wait does the clone apply time at Oh, it does! Wait, that's busted. Wukong on hit is broken! Wait, I bet Tranny Force would be super good on him. I mean, I feel like I'm probably still going to just go Black Cleaver, because I think it'll be better. But Tranny Force would definitely still be pretty fun. Oh, it does hit! It does hit the turret. It just didn't let me earlier. Okay. Now, one thing I do wonder is the attack speed increase from your E... Would you want to basically use your E immediately and then your clone to essentially snapshot the attack speed buff for your clone's duration? I wonder if that's how that works. I wonder if that's how that works. That'd be cool if it is. So, that lasts almost five seconds. That's pretty nuts. Like, that's actually awesome that it lasts almost five seconds. Okay. So I do have Legend Tenacity in my runes, so I'm not going to go for Mercury Treads for the Fiddlesticks. Instead, since they've got AD, 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 and all three of them finish a lot of damage with auto-attacking, I am going to get Ninja Tabai. And I think the best build for Wukong is probably going to be, um, you know, kind of kind of half tanky, half damage. So, like, well, Bruiser at his core. <laughs> but things like Black Cleaver, things like Sterax, things like... Um, Titanic Hydra. I think all of those will be really good items on this champion. So let's go ahead and ping the missing. We did already get the turret, so I could, you could say, oh yeah, you can just leave the lane. But I got to keep this shape-shifting dog on a leash. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if he's doing the Herald. It's definitely an option for him right now. Okay, he's not. He's going mid. <laughs> Looks like they are in trouble, but... Ooh, good shot, dude. Let's see if I can get it every time. Okay. So, after he got the kill, it reset his kill gold. And I'm glad I followed, because I'm pretty sure he would have killed the Evelyn there, too. Evelyn didn't have flash, and she didn't have her uh, ultimate, either. So, I think that was a good follow. I think that was a very good follow on my end. Oof. Oof. Look at all these minions I'm missing, man. Uh-oh. I should be able to kill him here. Yeah. Okay. All I had to do was wait for him to start draining me and then use the knock-up on him there. So I think if I do that, then it's pretty easy. Alright, get him, clone! So the clone actually does full damage to uh, everything it hits. If it's not a champion. Uh, if it's hitting minions, it'll do full damage. It only does 50% damage to champions. So there's a little, little thing there. Dude, this Tristana skin looks so cool. Ooh, the Terracult. Okay. Beep, beep. Beep. Oh my gosh. I mean, you, Yumi, you're just kind of sitting on him. Get him, clone! Wait, dude, this is 
so ridiculous. You just have so much uptime, like, on consistent damage. That's awesome. Oh. Oh, no. Nice. Good shot, dude. Look at that, man. That's so good. All right, get him, clone. Hit. Hit. Nice heal. I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead, but this guy comes in with the clutch heal there. We like that. All right, so we've gotten all three of the outer turrets. And now we can go back, finally, grab the entire... <laughs> the entire Titanic Hydra. And we'll go for Sterax Gauge next. So Sterax Gauge is also a uh, useful item in the... Did Zed just die 1v1 trying to dive the Tarek? Whatever! I don't even care. That's pretty good. Sorry, I'm having fun with my hair. Bring me a real <laughs> Wait, now I look so dumb. Oh no! Fuck. I mean, it's gonna probably... <laughs> Wait. Huh? There we go. Bring me a real challenge. Um, All right, Zed, what you gonna do? Well, I wonder if I can fight these guys. Oh my god! Oh my god! Get him, clone! Get him, clone! Holy shit. I had a feeling he was going to go back there. I should have should have trusted my gut. Oh, you hate to see it. Good lord, though. Dude, it's like a... Uh, I'm literally dollar store Alawi. Like, <laughs> that's what I feel like this is. Because whenever I can just keep people in the same spot fighting me... I, I just do so much damage. And look at this. It's 18 minutes in, and my Conqueror has already done 623 damage. Now, that doesn't sound like a ton, but for Conqueror, that's pretty damn good. Dude, I like how my hair is just sticking up right now. That's so fucking gross. <laughs> that's so fucking nasty, man. Jesus. All right, four second cooldown on the bop. Bapstick man's going mid. How can I... How much... Worse, can I make this? Wait, hang on. Is it Wesker time again? Hold on. Wesker? Where's my where's my comb? Where's my comb? Slain. There it is. An ally has been slain. Ignore me, I'm transforming while we wait a little bit. For no real reason, actually, I'm Hmm. Albert Wesker. <laughs> Alright, let's go save the day, boys. Let's go save the day. Hello! Am I able to, like, re-tap my W for anything? I wonder. I actually don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like re-tapping your W doesn't do anything. Okay. Neat. Hello! Dude. That is some damage. Pop a guardian. So what's, what's going on here? Come here! Come here! Yeah!
Come on, boys! Come on, bitch! Huh? Oh, yeah, you give me this penta right now. <laughs> oh, my God. There it is. There you go. Reworked Wukong's fucking insane. <laughs> the Wesker Pentakill coming in. Oh my god, dude. That's nuts. That is nuts. Alright, let's get this bad boy and transform and roll out. Wait, I didn't get it. I'll die for this. I don't even care. Or you'll die for it. I also still don't care. <laughs> All right, let's get the entire stair axe. What do you guys say we get some more actual damage, huh? What do you say? I think that sounds pretty fun. So, I wonder, I imagine the W doesn't actually apply on hit effects to me, right? Like if I get a Spirit Show Jin, my clone's auto attacks are not going to apply to me directly, right? So, let's not worry about that. I am considering, though, I am fully considering, though, getting a, uh, an Iceborne Gauntlet. I think that sounds fun. Because that gives me a bunch more armor. Oh, but it probably would be really bad. <laughs> it would probably be Probably be super bad. Yeah, let's let's get let's get the yummy let's get the yummy blade. How about that? So I'm gonna run up here, grab this blue buff, and go go go. Dude, that was like the easiest penta of my life. What the hell? I kind of just sat there and let my champion do his thing. That wasn't me like outplaying them or anything. That was just, I just hit W. <laughs> My clone killed them. But I do think that's really cool that you can have that little added layer of um, damage, right? Like if you ult onto someone and then, uh-oh. <laughs> if you ult onto someone, or not ult, but E onto someone and then use your W and then ult immediately. I think that's a pretty cool thought, like a pretty cool concept. And I kind of like that in a way, it's like Riot's doing this dumbed down version of the Phantom Lancer from Dota. So I, th I think that's cool. I think that's cool. And it actually gives a lot more to Wukong depth wise. So that's, that's really cool. Very, thank you, Riot. Very cool. Very cool. Are they going to stop me? Like you fool! That's the clone! Aha! Oh, do you not get... Oh, you do. Okay, I was gonna say, do you not get movement speed during it anymore? Amir, son. Bye-bye. <laughs> GG, boys. G, G, and we get the last sale on the Nexus, and I am going to go fucking shower. Holy moly. You know why? Because not only, well, actually, to be fair, I don't really stink. One, you know, one little fun fact about me, just a little fun fact that you guys never need to know. Regardless of if I don't shower for like a week or if I shower every day, I don't get stinky. No idea why. I just don't. It's it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, unless I've been, you know, running around, working out, then I got the bog in my pants, if you catch what I'm saying. But, actually, I should have, I should have honored the Jace, because he was, he was the guy that got me Wukong that game. Um, but yeah, I was more going to make the joke because my plays were dirty. Ooh, most damage in the game. Not really shocking based on the fact that I was 18, 2, and 4 and got a pentakill. But still, the stat feels good and the game feels good. Ru Rukong WeWork. 
The Rukong WeWork feels fantastic. In all honesty, I think it really gives him a lot more thematic presence as opposed to your W just being like, okay, I stand still. But I, I don't know if... Um, I don't know if the Q change was necessary. I think the Q change was more so they could be like, yeah, we want to make Wukong more of a laner by giving him this innate sustain, right? I feel like that was kind of all the Q change was instead of anything else. So effectively, the Q hardly changed, the E hardly changed. Um, I think once again on the thought of making him a laner, they added that passive to his Q that made it so he... Um, gets the bonus range after every ability instead of just the bonus range on his Q. Um, and then the way that they made him have two passives is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Like, choose one. Because getting that much armor and MR that scales throughout the game with your level, it's... That's scary. Like, <laughs> you can still build... Like, to put it in perspective, uh, as the game goes on, if you're full Assassin Wukong... You can go in, and if there's three or more people around you, you will for free, for free, get a chain vest and a Negatron cloak. Like, that's that's a lot. Like, that's really a lot of value from half of a passive because your other half is making you do stacking damage, and that's pretty nuts. Um, so I would, I would look at that as far as things to potentially tone down. Here are the runes I used in case you were wondering. Um... And you guys saw the game. Easiest Penta of my life, probably. Like, that was pretty up there on easy Penthas. And if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you guys think about the reworked Wukong, or the reworked Rukong, if you will. And as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace! I mean, uh, Wesker out. Mwah.